It's time to process, prepare, and preserve this week's harvest with Weston Equipment, Bradley Smokers, High Mountain Seasonings, and Outdoor Edge Knives. Now the next piece of meat that we're going to be working with here is actually the bottom round, the eye of round, and a little piece right here of the sirloin butt. And we're gonna season this roast down with a dry rub seasoning. Now we're gonna perform the same procedures using our boning and fillet knife here from Outdoor Edge. We're gonna trim all of this fat off the outside of the roast. We're gonna trim any of this connective sinew out of here. Right here you can see it is a big piece of connective sinew that runs right down along the outside of that bottom round. And we wanna trim that right off there, get that out of there. See we have some fat right here that's in between the bottom round and the sirloin butt. We wanna trim that up and pull it out. Here we have a little bit more fat here. We can trim that out and get this trimmed down to where we have some nice lean meat here. We can get rid of all these trimmings, place them with the trimmings off of our top round, and we can use those later in one of our ground products. Now that we have our bottom round all cleaned up, we're ready to apply our seasonings. And we're gonna be using the garlic pepper rub here from High Mountain. And High Mountain has a large variety of different dry rub seasonings in their Western Sizzler line. Now the first thing we wanna do is just cut some slits right down in the meat. And we're just cutting vertical slits right down through here. And we're cutting these slits about an inch apart the whole way across the face of this roast. Now the reason we're doing that is because when you place those seasonings on the outside of a roast, typically what happens is that flavor is only gonna penetrate in there about the first inch of the meat and you're not gonna get a good deep penetration. So that's why I like to cut these slits so I can get the seasoning right down inside the meat. We're just gonna put this good garlic pepper rub right down inside those slits that we cut in the meat. We're gonna season it just like each and every individual one of them was a steak. So we're gonna open it up, put that seasoning right down inside there, just like that. We're gonna completely coat the inside of that roast. We're gonna get in between every one of those slits that we made. Then we can flip that roast over and we can put a good coating on the outside of the roast, just like that. And now that we have it completely seasoned, we're ready to use some cotton twine and tie our roast together. And we're gonna place strings just about every inch the whole way up along this roast. And this is gonna hold it together as we're slow cooking our roast. For those of you who like a good smoked bacon flavor, a really good tip for you is to take thin sliced strips of bacon Place one in every one of the slits that you've cut inside the roast, along with your seasoning, and when you roll it together, you're gonna trap that good bacon flavor right inside that roast. Now we'll just place our roast right inside of our vacuum bag, and because there's no liquid in there, we really don't need the paper towel. We're gonna slide it right over here to our Cabela's Vacker. We'll set the lip of the bag just inside the vacuum machine, close the lid, Press the start button, and as you can begin to see, it's evacuating all of the air out of the bag. It's sealing it, it's preserving it, and it's also pulling that dry rub seasoning right into those muscle fibers. This is gonna give you a very evenly flavored product when you take it out of the bag. See our full line of instructional game processing DVDs on our website at OutdoorEdge.com. Now normally right here on the butcher block when we would prepare a seasoned roast like this, we would place it into an oven bag and put it inside of our Bradley smoker. But on this week's segment, we're gonna put a little different twist on it. We're gonna steam this in the can cooker. So what we're going to do here, first of all, we're gonna put our vegetables in the bottom of the can cooker. Now we'll just take our roast. We're gonna place our roast along with all those good juices that are inside of our Weston vacuum bag. We're gonna put that right down inside the can cooker, and then we're just gonna add 12 ounces of water to the bottom of our can cooker. And what this does is create the steam that's gonna cook the roast, cook all of the onions, cook the potatoes. We'll snap the lid on just like that. Then we could take our can cooker right over here 
to our gas grill. We're going to put it on here. We're just going to turn our grill on. We'll turn it down on low. And just as soon as our can cooker starts producing steam, in about two hours, it'll cook everything in this can cooker, no matter if you have it half full, three quarters full, or full the whole way to the top. If you'd like more information about processing your own wild game animals, visit me on my blog page at thehuntersbutchershop.com.